That's it. This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams. We're working on controlling Melody's back end differently. Good. We're doing Ronverse into shoulder ends. That's it. Ronverse. More activity. And straight. Good. Yes, yes, you, yes, she didn't swing as far that time, did she? Yeah, but you stopped her. More activity, a lot more activity. Yep, more activity. More. More. Good, until she picks up your back. Your seat, I mean. Good. Keep the activity going around the corner. Bring her haunches in. Bump her up. More activity. Into a shoulder in. Keep the activity. It's all right, because she's learning something different, so she might jog in between them or trot, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Keep the activity. More activity behind. More. Yep, that's too much positioning in the head. Neck. Yep, more activity. Feel her weight go on her left hind. Good. Okay, now whichever way you push her haunches, tell me when you feel her. she's stepping on her, her left hind now. Feel it? No. Good. Keep her on the left hind. That's it. Just keep her on the left hind. Yes. Keep her on the left hind all the way down now. Do a circle to the left, keeping her on the left hind. What do you have to do to keep her on the left hind where she doesn't fall on the front? Can you feel it? Yeah, both of your legs, and you have to bring the shoulder in different, don't you? So here's what's happening, because that was your question, is whether you should be using the Ronverse or the shoulder in. It's actually the combination of both of them that makes the difference. So do another circle. If we're going to add circles, put her on the right hind. Is she on her right hind yet? So what do you have to do? Haunches in, into shoulder in, feeling that she stays on her right hind. Praise her. That's it. You can feel it, can't you? Well, this is new to her. Good. That's it. Good, good. Just keep feeling her on the inside hind. And to do that, you're going to do a little bit of the haunches in, into shoulder in. And you'll be doing it like every two steps you'll feel. Good. Praise her a lot. Take your time. Because this is a feeling exercise. Do you feel how aware it's making you feel of where she is? Yeah. Good, Trudy. That's right. Keep asking yourself, is she on the inside hind? Yeah. Good. Is she now? Good. Good. So when you feel that, what do you need to do? That's right. She felt her falling to the outside a little bit. Good, which is Melody's tendency is to carry her weight on the outside. So now we're changing it to where she carries her weight on the inside hind more. Good. And then, and then when you do a straight line, it'll almost feel like no man's land because she's really not anywhere. So that's why you're asking her to do more curves and circles is just so you can isolate what she's really doing with her inside hind leg. Like right here on this semi-straight line. Yep. You, can, you felt when she went off that inside hind on the straight line, didn't you? As soon as you feel that, start a curve. It can be a circle or a curve, as much as you need to get her so she's back on her inside hind. Good. That's right. So what do you have to do? Bring her haunches over and then bring her shoulder over and praise her. Mockingbirds. <laughs> That's right. Get her hind legs active. Good. So you see how you're starting to use your curves and circles different now? Now you can use them to get her to carry herself better. Watch where she drops you. Keep her on the left, right hind now. Praise her. Praise her. Because she's really trying. You can feel how light, how light this is getting now. Good. When you feel her getting heavy on the rain, that's when you need to do something with her back end. And praise her. Yes. 
Your riding are different from your seat and legs now. Can you feel it? Take your time. This is all about you feeling where she drops you and where she, because she's, they all drop a lot at first. Sorry, everybody, but we're both feeling the heat. <laughs> the heat. Well, plus this is a, you know, this is a very challenging exercise. Good. What did you, what were you feeling with the trot, Trudy? Yeah, the trot felt really balanced and not, you know, her and not feeling heaviness in my hands is a great big thing. Yes. She's starting to see the elastic feel now, too. Yes. Happily. That's right. She's seeking the contact from your hand. Yeah. She's using her neck different, and you'll see it when you watch the videos. Still, pin her, I have to just work really hard to make sure I am giving... Yes. That motion of the canter with my elbows. That's I right. Tend to do this. Yes. I know I do. Well, a lot of people do. And you know, her canter, she's like a green horse canter, but now you're changing it into more of a first level canter. Good girl. Keep the activity.